uh, we've been doing these uh, velocity versus time, position versus time, and motion maps for a couple of days now, but I am going to attempt to give you a little bit of direct help about how to do these. So don't take any notes. This isn't a worksheet for you. I just want to talk you through how to do these. So we have a word description. This is a student walks 10 meters north in 5 seconds stands at her locker for 15 seconds, then walks 20 meters south to her classroom in five seconds. All right, so we're going to take this written description and turn it into a position versus time graph, a motion map, and a velocity versus time graph down here on the bottom. Let's zoom in and uh, try this one right here. Okay. Well, okay, a student walks 10 meters north in 5 seconds. Okay. Well, we've got the time down here starting at 0. We'll just uh, put her at 0 here, and it says she walked 10 meters north in 5 seconds. Okay, so 10 meters north. Give it a direction in five seconds, and that's right here. Okay, she started here and she walked 10 meters north in five seconds. Okay, stands in her locker room, locker for 15 seconds. So her position at 10 meters here is going to is going to stay for 15 seconds. So we're there's five. So a total of 10 seconds, but 5 where she's been standing at the locker. 10, 15. So a total of 20 seconds. Then she walks 20 meters south to her classroom in 5 seconds. So then she comes back in the other direction. So this we're calling north and this we're calling south. She went 20 meters in 5 seconds. So in this, from 20 to 25 seconds, she went 10 and another 10. So she went down here. So this is her motion map. She's, she went 10 meters in 5 seconds. She stood at her locker for 15 seconds. And then she came back all the way to her classroom. So, you know, she's standing here. Her classroom is back here. Her locker is up here. She walked this way. Took her five seconds, and that's ten meters. She stood there for fifteen seconds, and then she walked back, a total of twenty meters to her classroom. And and so that's basically what the motion map is going to look like. So we're going to start it right here. She's going to walk ten meters up to her classroom in five seconds. So this is time equal zero. It's time equal five seconds. Remember. Whatever interval, whether it's one second, two second, or whatever, you're simply putting a dot where she was at that time interval. She was at zero meters, and in five seconds she walked to this. This is the 15 meters, this is five, ten meters. She then stood there for another five seconds, ten, fifteen seconds. So this is t equal to ten, t equal to fifteen, t equal to twenty. Then it says she walked back 20 meters, so she went 5, 10, 15, 20 meters back to here. So this is 0, this is negative 5, negative 10 at t equal 25. And then one more. We're going to change this information into a velocity versus time graph. Well, it says she walked 10 meters in 5 seconds, so that's 2 meters per second. For five seconds, so this is the zero part. This is the positive values and the negative values. She was going two meters per second for one, two, three, four, five seconds. Then it says she stood still, so zero velocity. So from that point, she stood still for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen seconds. We'll just kind of connect them there. And then she walks 20 meters south in the opposite direction she was where there's in five seconds. So 20 meters in five seconds, 20 divided by five is four meters per second. But since it's in the other direction, it's 
negative 4 meters per second. So it's position versus time, motion map, and velocity versus time.